Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. And today we have another classic showdown the all time Rams taking on the all time San Francisco 49ers, greatest show on turf, taking on Joe Montana and Jay Rice. Now, in this one, I'm playing most of the times from the broadcast camera angle, computer versus computer. This time I'm playing and I'm playing as a St. Louis Rams. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Reason number one, even though I like the computer versus computer broadcast angle style, cause I really do like that, and I will be coming back in Madden 15 before uh, today's NFL is going through like a season, you know, go through week one, the top three games or whatever I'm looking forward to, going all the way through week 17, going all the way through the playoffs and into the Super Bowl, because I think that will be a lot better than what we're getting now. And the reason why I say that is because I did Chicago versus Detroit. And Detroit, they got Barry Sanders. And on offense, that's really all they got. Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson, right? But because it's Madden 25 and because EA Sports programmed the Detroit Lions to be very pass happy because that's how they play in today's NFL, Detroit barely gave the ball to Barry Sanders. Barely gave the ball to Barry Sanders. And I'm like, that's not realistic. That would never happen. You got Barry Sanders on the field. You you want to give that guy 20, 25, 30 touches. Even, in, even though it is today's NFL, we don't see too many running backs get that many touches. Ultimately, though, it's Barry Sanders, one of the greatest running backs of all time. So I'm like, you know what? It would probably, probably be better represented if I control the team. So that's why I'm controlling the St. Louis Rams here. Reason number two. It's time to start up another franchise. Now, I know I was doing franchise before. I did one with the Cleveland Browns. We won the Super Bowl versus the Seattle Seahawks. Not really the most realistic, you know what I mean? Um, we didn't really have to make any trades, any move. We just took the Cleveland Browns as is, got them to the Super Bowl, and did our things there where we beat the Seattle Seahawks. 21-20, to 20, I believe the final score was. Then I did another one with the Raiders. We kind of fast forward. We started in the year 2014. You know, Terrell Pryor was a starting quarterback. We had Ben Tate at running back. We made some moves on the defense. We signed Jared Allen and stuff. And the games were very, very competitive. That's the one thing that it wasn't for the Cleveland Browns franchise, that they were very, very competitive. And that's good. I always want a competitive game. Right here, I'm drop back, and Ronnie Lott jumps in front of that. Now, if you play on all Madden, most likely that will not happen. You're going to have to tweak the sliders. Now, you have to tweak the sliders a specific way. So, basically, the reason that I'm doing this again is to test out my slider set for the franchise that I'm going to do. And the franchise I'm going to do will be using these teams. It's going to be whatever classic team that I pick up, trying to get them to all the way to the Super Bowl, you know, into the playoffs to make a Super Bowl run. So I'm testing out the sliders right here, and Ronnie Lott, he dropped back. You know, he was reading the quarterback's eyes, reading the, the, the pass progressions in front of him, and he jumped the route going across the middle from the tight end, and he got the interception. Now, those are things that the dev team from EA Sports said is going to happen in EA Sports Madden NFL 15. Okay, so that's good. But this is the Madden NFL 15. This is Madden 25 where still the passing game, you know, was still a little bit overpowering, especially versus the computer. So I'm definitely, you know, trying to create a side to set where, one, I'm going to be challenged. That's the biggest thing. If I'm not having fun with it, then it's going to suffer because you won't see it upload too many times on my channel. So I'm very dedicated to finding a great slider set, and I think we have one right here. Number two, I want to give you guys the best game plays possible. I want to give you guys some game plays where you're like, wow, you know, this series, this season, every game has been tight. I can see that Dawkins is really trying to, like, make it realistic and stuff like that and all that good stuff. So that's that's what I want from this. I want, I want to be challenged personally, and I want to give you guys the best game plays possible. Yes, I want to be realistic, but... You know, it's not that fun, especially when you're looking at a video game. It's not real life when every game is a blowout. So if I'm going to win, that's fine. But I want every game to be close. If the team is not that good, I want to be, you know, from behind most of the time. I want to be losing the game. I want to I want to have to come back from behind in most of the games if the team that I pick is not, you know, stacked up like the other teams as I throw another interception. So interceptions are a premium, you know what I mean? We all know that the out routes and comeback routes, even though I tweaked the slider sets, those are still pretty easy to get. So at times when I'm coming back, I will be using those. I won't abuse those. Never, I'm never going to abuse anything that works. So most likely you won't see me do any screen passes and stuff like that. But I'm just here to test out the slider set. Give you guys a new franchise. Probably using a team that you guys didn't get to see in my head-to-head -head sims. 
you know, computer versus computer, you know, all-time great team. So let's get into the gameplay. Again, I'm representing those St. Louis Rams. We're taking on the San Francisco 49ers, and we are down by 10 as Roger Craig picks up the first down. Montana over the middle. He's going to find Terrell Owens, and Terrell Owens picks up a gain of 10, his first catch of the ball game. You see the quarterback comparison. There is no comparison. Joe Montana is out there slinging the rock as Kurt Warner has thrown two interceptions. And right there, Kevin Green, who needs to be in the Hall of Fame, fifth all-time in sacks. Oh my good third all time in sacks, excuse me. He needs to get into a Hall of Fame as he decleats Ricky Waters. So now they're gonna have to set up for the field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good, and now we are down 13 nothing. The greatest show on turf has not put up any points so far. We're gonna find Marshall Flock in the flat, and he's gonna pick up the first down. First and 10 from the 45 yard line. Warner looking, has time, throws the ball over the middle. Toy Holt makes the catch over the middle, gets brought down by Patrick Willis, but picks up the first down. So here we go. First and 10 for the Rams. Drops back the pass, and Kurt Warner is catching on fire as he completes another pass for another first down. Second and five. Eric Dickinson around the outside, puts his shoulder down, and runs over Deion Sanders to get the ball inside the 15 down at the 14 yard line. Kurt Warner to Falk in the flat, and Falk is going to pick up a gain of eight, setting up third and three from the seven. Warner looking to pass, finds the tight end in the middle of the field. Touchdown, Rams, and the Rams are back in this ball game, making it a one-possession ball game going into halftime. So check out some of the halftime stats. Warner has 108 yards passing. John Montana has 83 yards passing, but the Niners almost racked up 100 yards in the first half on the ground. So the Rams, they're going to start the second half with the football, and Eric Dickinson around the outside gets brought down pretty hard by Tim McDonald whose son now plays for the St. Louis Rams. Second and two from the 27 I formation. Eric Dickinson gets the call up the gut and he's going to get brought down by Bryant Young but pick up the first down. Ball is placed at the 34 yard line to give us to Marshall Falk and Marshall 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 is off to the races and he's going to pick up a solid gain of 14 and the Rams are now moving the ball on the ground. Second and eight now, Warner looking to pass, finds Bruce, and Bruce is going to pick up a nice game, setting up third and four from the 46-yard line. Single back formation for Warner on third down. Warner throws the ball to the left side, caught by Fears, and he's going to pick up the first down, his third catch for 29 yards on the day so far. First and 10 gives to Eric Dickinson up the gut, falls forward for a gain of eight, setting up second and two from the 22, and Eric Dickinson gets brought down in the backfield by Patrick Willis, his fifth tackle of the day. Warner's looking to pass on 32, throws the ball over the middle, caught by Isaac Bruce, first down Rams, ball is on the 18, Warner's looking to pass, finds Torrey Holt inside the 5, dives forward, they're going to rule him out at the 2 yard line as he try to get into the end zone, second to go to give it to Eric Dickinson, who wiggles his way into the end zone, touch down Rams and the Rams are going to take a one point lead midway through the third quarter. Second and seven, read option by Joe Montana is only going to pick the Niners up too. Third and five from the 25. Montana looking, throwing, finds Owens who makes the catch on the slant route and he's going to pick up a nice game. Ball will be placed at the 45 yard line. Second and 11 now from the 44. The give is to Roger Craig who gets chopped down by Deacon Jones. Third down for the Niners. They're looking to pass on third and four. 14. They're going to try the screen pass and on third and 14 they're going to be forced to punt as that screen pass only picks them up four. First and 10 now, Eric Dickinson up the gut, and there goes Ronnie Lott making his fourth tackle, connecting to the chest of Eric Dickinson. And on the very next play, Eric Dickinson picks up the first down, gets brought down by Tim McDonald. First and 10 now, there goes Eric Dickinson picking up seven, going to bring up second and three from the 33 to give us to Dickinson. Dickinson breaks tackles, and he's going to pick up the first down, 15 carries, 81 yards for Eric Dickinson. Give us back to Dickinson on first down, breaks another tackle, and right now the Rams are just running the ball right down the throats of the 49ers. Second and seven, Marshall Falk checks into the ball game, and he's going to find a lane, gets brought down by Dion, but not until he picks up the first down, ball is on the 30-yard line, the Rams are marching. First down. Down, play action. Warner to Bruce on the sideline. Going to pick up the first down on the out route. Four catches, 40 yards for Isaac Bruce. First down, 10, 13 yard line. They give us to Falk. Falk breaks the tackle. Gets brought down by Navarro Bowman. And that's going to set up third and three from the six. Warner looking. Warner throwing. Finds the fullback in the flat who runs a man over. Let's check that out on the replay. You can see the fullback right here. Catches the ball in the flat. Turns up field and runs Wilcox over. So first thing, goal now to give us to Falk, and Falk's going to walk his way into the end zone. Touch 
down Rams, and the Rams are going to take an eight-point lead midway through the fourth quarter. Let's see what Joe Montana's 49 offense could do. Screen pass to Roger Craig. Has a couple of blockers. Gets a big-time block. Up past the 40, down past the 45-yard line. Finally gets brought down to 46. Joe Montana's looking to pass on second and 10 to Vernon Davis, who makes the catch. He's going to be one yard short of the first down marker. Third and one from the 45-yard line. The give is to Roger Craig, and Craig is going to pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Second and six, Montana looking to pass, throws the ball, has the man as John Taylor, who makes the grab at the 24-yard line. First and 10, Montana looking, Montana throwing. Roger Craig has it over the middle, going to get the ball inside the 10. They're going to rule him down at the 9-yard line. The Niners are going to run the ball and suck in the goal. He has a lane and touchdown, Niners. And the Niners should go for two after that touchdown. That, that will bring them within two to tie the game. Or extra point will only make it a one-point ball game. Here goes a two-point try. And he's going to find John Taylor, who was lined up on Kevin Green. And that is a mismatch. So 21-21 all. Second and six. Try to find Isaac Bruce. Incomplete pass. Third and six. Warner has it. And he air mails that one. And now the Niners have a chance to take the lead as the Rams are forced to punt. First and 10. Montana looking, throwing, finds Vernon Davis. Gets brought down by Kevin Green at the 33-yard line. Second and eight now. Montana looking, throwing, has the man deep. That's Terrell Owens, and Terrell Owens going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Niners. And the Rams is going to be their turn to see if they can lead the comeback as the 49ers take the lead on the beautiful pass from Joe Montana directly into the hands of Terrell Owens, who makes an outstanding catch down the right sideline, beat the man like he stole something, and now the Niners have a seven-point lead. 28-21, first and 10 for the Rams. Looking for Bruce, finds him, makes the catch, but that's actually going to be a loss of one on the play. Second and 11 from the 23 now. Warner looking, throwing, has a man, big time catch over the middle. First down Rams. Ball is on the 41 now. Warner, can he make a play? Looking for Bruce, who cannot make the catch as the ball got this large from him. As soon as the ball got there, he got hit. Second and 10 from the 41 yard line. Bruce is in motion. Warner looking to throw. Can take a shot deep. And I don't know who he was throwing it to as that ball went directly to Ronnie Lott. And that's going to wrap this ball game up. The Rams are going to leave here with the L as the San Francisco 49ers pick up the W. So those are the type of games, hopefully, that we can expect from my franchise using a legendary team. It was very competitive. Both teams were in it till the end. A bad pass, bad decision, a ball that sailed by Court Warner right into the hands of Ronnie Light, who had two interceptions. We threw three total. They weren't really bad reads. It's just that the DBs made great plays on the ball. That last pass got away from Court Warner. And hopefully, we can get game plays like this throughout the whole season. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm out. Peace. Hot sauce.